are going to make a very unusual pasta today. And it's, um, it reminds me of a pasta that I made years and years and years ago. The one and only time I ever did Iron Chef. Oh my God, was that a day. Anyway, we won and it was cool. But uh, I think the, the one thing I remember from that day was how much I loved the pasta because it used a Tuscan technique where the pasta is cooked partially in boiling salted water and then finished in simmering red wine. That's a drunken pasta. Well, equally delicious is this one. It sounds completely weird, but it's really tasty, especially if you like the flavor of ranch dressing. We're gonna put buttery herb breadcrumbs on top of a turkey ragu, so a turkey meat sauce. But the pasta is what makes the difference in this meal. We're going to heavily salt our rapidly boiling water. For every one pound of pasta, you need six quarts of water to cook pasta properly. We then drop the pasta into the water and just let this go for four or five minutes because we're going to let it finish cooking in buttermilk. And that flavor gets absorbed into the pasta itself. For our, um, our turkey ragu, I have celery, bay, onion, and garlic. That's browning in just a little olive oil. We've got one package of ground turkey. If you buy turkey breast, that's 99% fat free. You'll have to add a little more olive oil or butter to the pan. I like the flavor of the mix of the ground turkey white and dark. Down here, I took some stale bread. So we've got our bread in the food processor. Oh, how about you twist the lid on? I'm like, why is it going? And you wanna keep these breadcrumbs nice and coarse for the texture. Then we're going to douse them with some melted butter. And we're gonna give that a zap just to distribute the butter. And then I've got poultry herbs. So parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, just like the saw. Throw those in. Salt and pepper, of course. Zap that to combine. Throw them on a baking sheet and put them in a hot oven until they're super golden and delicious. My God. Oh, I don't even care about the pasta. I could just eat that. <laughs> our buttermilk is just coming to a bubble back here on our back burner. I'm now transferring our pasta from its cooking water down into the buttermilk and it'll soak up all that flavor while it finishes its cooking process. This is bucatini. It's big fat spaghetti that's hollow in the middle, so it's actually pretty quick cooking. Now that our pasta's in there, it's going to just kind of do its thing and take care of itself. When all of the liquid is absorbed, it'll receive the, um, the turkey ragu, our simple turkey sauce, and then we'll finish it with those beautiful buttery breadcrumbs. I, I'm literally drooling. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to finish the ragu with a little bit of acidity. We're gonna add a little white wine. You want to buy an inexpensive wine, but one that you appreciate the flavor of because you're concentrating the flavor, of course, in the sauce. Then we're going to add turkey or chicken stock. And that's really it. That's all that goes on with the sauce. We're keeping this very simple because we're marrying it with the buttermilk uh, cooked pasta and then all of the herbs and that crunch and texture of our breadcrumbs. We've got our pasta cooked in buttermilk. I am now adding tons of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese to that delicious bucatini. And now we're gonna pop out our bay leaf and add all of our turkey ragu with wine. <laughs> Yum. And then we're going to drop this. Beautiful combo into a big old pasta bowl. Oh. <laughs> and then we're gonna top that. Ooh, that's still hot. Good thing I can't feel any of my fingers since the late 80s. <laughs> then we're gonna top it with all of our buttery breadcrumb and herb mixture. Yes. yes. 